I don't know, the music is so lovely in this game. Welcome in, man, the wizards. Welcome in. We are in Hogsmeade right now, and uh, we're about to meet dear Sebastian. And uh, from this lovely girl trying to catch that bird. Well, uh, are you okay? I think I'll ride with you. Oh, it's disappeared on you. Miss Peck from Rude and Peck said a customer lost a deeracle around here. I know we're not supposed to go down there. I just thought... You could have got her a lot of trouble. I'm very sorry, Father. Only she said I might earn a reward. Oh, instead, I just wasted our time. There you are! Ha! Huh, finally! I'll have enough of that wind wisp. Ah, well, not meant to be. Also, I may have knocked over a dustbin back there. Never mind, I'll fix it, as always. Pavelio. What is going on with, uh... Oh, hello there. An evil eye-looking chest. Okay. Not a lot to go that path. Is there a path hidden in this thing? I wonder. Oh, there might be something hidden over here. Uh-huh. Off you go, book. In my hands you go. Look at that. We're nearly... Nearly... I love love. Oh, oh, oh. Level 9. There we go. Just from collecting flying books over there. What the hell is that over there? Honey dudes. I see fluffy, jumpy things around. I think I need to check that out. Oh, what's that? <laughs> Shooting some stones into the water. Shoop, 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 shoop. <laughs> I wonder if something happens or something throws a stone back or something. No? Okay, okay, okay. I'll accept it. Another fast travel point. Ah. Gotcha. It's worth your while to take time walking around. Honey dudes. What the hell is going on in here? Revelia. Let's have a look inside. Honey Dukes, Sweet Charm sells a variety of magical sweets from fizzing whizbees to exploding bonbons. Customers would be wise to know precisely what effect they may experience before sampling the shop wares. Uh, all of them, please, thank you. There we go. Hello there. Okay, you, you sound you sound like you're not uh, living for so long anymore. Wow, look at all this candy. Can we eat candy from here? You can. You will make it will make you float. Fizzing whizbees. The delicious sweets rumored to contain belly wig stings or small herbits bowls that, that when consumed will levitate one a few inches of the ground. Et voila! Oh ho! <laughs> oh ho ho, okay. And look at that. We are levitating very, very slightly. What do we have over here? Mrs. Evans. Behave. Level one lock. Man, there's so many level one locks. Bavelia. She just stuffed that full cake into her face like it's nothing. Oh my. Oh my. 
Oh, and a, and a cake, yeah, and and uh, pumpkins and and strawberry pie and uh, and more pie. Mm, yeah, and, and and another muffin. And uh, since uh, this is the walk of shame, let's uh, let's just have have another one. Do we have another one? No, but we can have some over here, and, and I'll take one of that. Yeah, yeah, because uh, the, you know, three ki three cakes, five cakes, seven cakes, maybe maybe ten. Yeah. Oh, we got, I guess, a little uh, sweet teeth over here. Donksy and Floss. What the hell is in there? Okay, some pumpkins. Is it pumpkin pine? Can we, can we eat that? No? Fair enough. Here, okay, towards the end. Oh, what's this? Is that? Holy shit, that is a log. Whoever eats that will die of diabetes. Piece of candy. We have eaten so much. Revelio. Some points. Exploding bonbons. These streets explode when eaten, although they're unlikely to cause serious injury. One is advised to chew carefully. Exploding bonbons. I wonder if stuff like that might come in handy. Uh, level 2 lock. And that's this locked gym. Okay. Well, if that was it. We shall head out. It was lovely. It was lovely. We have uh, put, I think, 10 kilograms plus on us. And are gonna die of diabetes. Revelio. All is good. All is fine. All is nice. There's a little sack over there. Is that an owl? Yeah, it was an owl. Diamond debonair exam. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Might be something that we like. We have some new handware. Okay, I'll take that. I uh, would like no cloak. Now some new neckwear. This is a plus eight in offensive. I'll grab it. Yeah, why not? Let's keep it. Then for the face wear, I would like to not have anything. Good. And outfits. We have this diamond debonair assembly. Oh, very English. Very Mrs. Evans like. I like it. We're gonna run it, but without gloves then. Perfect, and no scarf. Yes. Very British. So, Mr. Swallow. We're gonna walk. Cheek, butt, cheek, butt, cheek, cheek, butt, butt, cheek. Left, right. Pump pumps out. Sebastian. I officially have all of my supplies. Excellent. Did you get what you needed for your sister? I did. So I suppose the world is our oyster now. Let's see what else we can get up to. Line one. Oh, it comes down from uh, the sugar thing. Let's go. I said I need combat training, but not this soon. Holy shit. A troll. Draw it away from the building. Away from the village. Oh, singer. Bombarda. I hope we can learn this well as well. Oh shit. 
Dodge. Okay. Wow. Oh, okay. Oh my goodness. Knock me over. Oh, we me him at all. Keep at it. We'll wear him down eventually. Whoa, you can manage. What was that? A taste of his own medicine. Nicely there done. Go. There we go. Eats all Look the out. barrels. You like that one? Eat another barrel. Eat. Boom. Boom. Whoa. That's right, you lumbering lout. He's fine. A few more hits to do the job. He's fully done. Whoa. Wrong button. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, our uh, uh, Disu. Ancient magic. He incinerated. We put him into ashes. <coughs> Holy shit. Goodness. A second troll. Yeah. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? Yes, ma'am. I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. My are beard. Are you all right? We are. And we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask mm -hmm. me. An if aura. you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, Officer. Singer. Officer Singer. Okay, Singer. And thank you. Again. We shall meet again. Hopefully. So, putting things together. Uh, repair. Repair. Hello there. A, a moment, if you would. I'll go and see what he wants. That was cute. Uh, I'll be with you in a second. Lucky they didn't do much. For that, I'm gonna repair everything. What does it say? Oro kills. Oh, that's not good. Repair. Not much damage if freaking house got knocked over. How did it not do much damage? He looks a little bit like an uh, um Revelio. Like a ghoul. The statue of Hufflepuff Hengist of a Woodcraft, believed to be the founder of the village of Hogsmeade after having been driven from its home by muggle persecutors. Okay. Oops. Lumos. Repairer. No. Wrong buttons. Need repairer. One last thing for Officer Singer to worry about. There we go. That over there. Good. How about that? Beautiful. Good as new. Perfect. So. Oh, there's even an uh, field guide up there. Look at that. Butt cheek. Butt cheek. Butt cheek. Butt. Rebellion. Galad Rags Wizard Ware, founded in 1750 and with location in Paris, London, and Hawksmead. Glad Rags offers a variety of wizard garments and accessories. Mr. Augustus Hill and his associate Otto Dibble happily help all those who wander into the shop, enjoying in particular the challenge of customer with a less fashion sense than most. Sounds like me. With less fashion sense. Wait, is there... An entrance over here. Revelio. What is this place? Okay. 
Okay, interesting. Oh, it's in the same part. Compartment. I'll grab that. Will the wind push it? Very good, because I used one. A sneaker scope. A sneaker scope is a type of dark detector and the will spin, whistle, and light up when it detects someone untrustworthy nearby. It should be used with caution, however, it is as it will alert the untrustworthy of the user's presence almost instantly. I see. Rebellion. Something else in here. Mr. Hill was just singing your praises. Hmm. I'll have a cup of coffee on his his behalf. So, Mr. Hill. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow no. me to introduce myself, Augustus Hill, Clothia Extraordinaire. Yes. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls. And not oh, to my. mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its oh. rightful state. Stop I it. was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin. But I can offer you something much more useful. Like? I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Okay. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks mm. for what you did today. Well, thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. The least. Now, <laughs> now, let's try this on for size, shall we? Let's do it. We'll be getting plenty for your perusal today. Take we'll your time. We got a traditional school robe. That's all. Okay. Fair enough. The gear screen. Okay, now it explains to you with defense and offense on the top right. I hear you. I hear you. Put the rope. Fair enough. Ooh, there's some very nice legendary stuff to have a look at. Uh, I can sell this item. As soon as you have it in your inventory, you can sell the items because you have them automatically in your transmog. So you don't necessarily need to wear something that you like how it looks like. You can wear whatever is best and uh, put a skin over it, aka transmog. I'd say we've earned a butterbeer or two, wouldn't you? Or Might three. help me forget that I was almost pulverized by a troll. I'd say that I agree with you. Perfect. The three broomsticks is just this way. Fair enough. A uh, butterbeer it is. I huh? sell even more battle-worthy items. Should you be inclined, you're most welcome to peruse my shop at your leisure. I shall. Revelio. How about me? Bad Rags Mannequin. Unlike enchanted mannequins flavored by students and dueling practices, the mannequins of Glad Rags serve only as a means to display the latest wizard fashion. My, 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 my. Okay, can I take this box behind you? I can. Was there anything inside? Oh, there was money inside. 44. Okay. I'll take that. Rebellion. Anything else left in here that I could check out? Doesn't look like it. Can I exit on this door? I can. Perfect. Butterbeer in a second because I saw a flying parchment somewhere around here. There it is. And that level 10. So, but I am not wearing this. As we are outside of school territory and I am not forced to wear a school uniform out here. Therefore, I shall not have any robe on me and just be very stylish English as a Mrs. Evans would be. But cheek, but cheek. Assuming it isn't utter bedlam in there, you might even meet Serona, the owner. She's a good one to My Serona. Let's 
saw you. Very good. What's going on now? The head it's gone. Was he not at the beginning of the game? This headed figure. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Oh, he wanted to get to me. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Yikes. Let's go. Oh, God. They saw us. Did they see us? I, I don't so. think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? That was your uh, is friend working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, uh -oh. let's get inside the three broomsticks. Uh-oh. Looks like we're gonna have a lovely brawl. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Oh. That's interesting, having male boys. A transgender, I guess. Hodge, you rolling. Take that in your no. face. What can I... Oh. There's a face I haven't seen before. It's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Oh, three butterbeers even? Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one. Single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Well, thank, thank you. you for this. My pleasure. I will say... <sighs> trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... Uh, or this one. How timely. <laughs> Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Serona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. <laughs> I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. Hmm. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. Oh, everybody stood up for us. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, the ovenous. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. Oh my. Oh, did you see that dead eyebrow race? Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Looks like it. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Well, we'll teach him manners, just like that Trolls? Troll. Ranrock and Rookwood? What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. Oh. And on that note, I think we should head back to the castle. Okay. We shall. But before that, let's have a look around here. Oh. Revenia. Guild guy. Currently run by Serona Ryan and allegedly has owned old as Hogsmeade itself. The Three Broomstick is the long standing gathering spot for the villagers of Hogwarts students who want to join a butterbeer or a fire whiskey. Three Broomsticks. I would like a bottle of whiskey, a, bar, a cup of whiskey now. Hmm, some nuts. And some. <laughs> Just taking everything and drinking. Yeah. Well, thank you. Mm -hmm. How about this one? Can I take this as well? No. <laughs> I feel so cheeky with a character. Oh. Oh, some more food. Yeah, because why not? Let's put a freaking whole sweet roll in her face. 
Mrs. Evans, if you keep up this uh, kind of endeavor, you will be um, a very, a very, very uh, chunky lady in no time. Uh, let's have a look upstairs. Revelio. Anything random up here? Not that I see at the moment. It's like also the performance is way better since I turned off the, the ray tracing part. A bag of blue leather gloves. Sounds very fancy. There's even further up, okay. Anything over here? Oh ho ho, 32 uh, gold balloons. I forgot the, the currency name. Call it gold coins. Let's call it the uh, gold coins. I think that leads even further up. The I the Irish fiddle fiddly do music. So good. Revelio. But mark the treasure map. A treasure on my on my uh, minimap. Since I tagged it with Revelio, that's nice. Up we go, and let me guess there is a lock on it. Level up my level one. Well, as I told you, as soon as we have the possibility for logs, I will uh, there venture further and explore all the nooks and crannies of the buildings. As soon as we have uh, lock level one, or maybe maybe we gotta be, even wait until lock level two. Let's see. So. Mr. Swallow. I'm certainly glad Serona was there. Told you she was one of the good ones. I can see that. She didn't seem at all intimidated by Rookwood and Hollow. I think you'll need to tell me why Victor Rookwood has you in his sights. But we can talk later. For the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley's certain to hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. Probably Don't already. want to risk another detention for getting back after hours. Probably already. Uh, you must return to your common room at night. Access the map. Select the Hogwarts map. Whoop. Click on there. Slytherin common room. Oh, I just get. I just got it, Sir Rona. She goes by the pronouns of she, but is uh, a uh, man transgendered into a woman. And that's why Sir Rona. I don't think that's a coincidence that they ma named it, uh, named the character like that. Have you rested by now? Complete the main quest, two out of four. So... Now we are back in a school. That means we are putting back on some fancy, fancy clothing. Plus one offensive. Uh, although I don't necessarily need, need some gloves. There we go. Uh, and outfits. I want me back some uh, school outfit. Very firm English. Very classy. Nothing open. Nothing like sluggish. We're gonna look professional as a very fine English lady would look like. And we are putting on in uh, decorative or traditional. Let's grab this decorative one. It looks, looks very fancy. We have also this house fan uh, from the school thing, but uh, we're gonna go with the decorative. And uh, of course, we gotta put the hood on. Yes. So, you received outpost. From Professor Rick. Come and see me. I discovered something in the locket we found at Gringotts. Is that so? Okay. I will uh, come and see you then. Read mail. Any other mail? No. That's your mail. Good. And uh, let's have also a quick look if we have any. Uh, wrong button. This one. Do we have any gear that we have unlocked, like this here? Uh, Zonko's Chief Prankster Spectacles. And Chief Prankster Hat. And uh, Coat. And uh, 
nearly the rest as well. We can also collect this regalia hat. Very good, very good. I wonder, are they gear or are they just... No, they're just looks. Fair enough, they're just looks. So we got this uh, Zonko's chief prankster clothing. <laughs> yeah. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. So. Off we go. This looks so lovely. Being on the water. Freaking badass. So. Let's get out of the sleeping quarters. What is that? House chest. Okay. We're following the main path. Revelio. Let's again this chest with the eye. Fly on book, fly on book. Nothing here. Hogwarts. Oh, the power looks like goes over there. Oh, there were some broom, broomstick guys flying off. That was cool. That was cool. So we're heading down here. And uh, over here. <laughs> Lovely. Lovely. Let's move a little sprints towards the door. There we go. Through the whole way. Armor are taken position in front of me. Looks like there's someone with a side quest up here. From the looks of it. I guess even third rub. Revelio. Not sure I spend anything, but... Uh, Hello there. Hello there. Perhaps you can help me. Maybe. Hello. Were you calling me? I was, yes. Thought you might be interested in joining me for a bit of an adventure. Ooh. Following a treasure map, to be precise. Slight respite from battling the odd troll, I should think. Oh, Asked you Poppy heard about if it she'd already? be interested as well, but couldn't drag her away from her puff skein. <laughs> I found two maps lying about, both leading to locations around Hogwarts. Care to have a look at one? Sure. Following a Hogwarts treasure map? Count me in. Wonderful! Hogwarts fascinates me. You can keep whatever treasure lies at the end of your map. Of course I will. I'll be satisfied just knowing where it leads. Fair enough. Fair enough. Let's Very uh, well. look at it. I shall take a look if I can find the time. Fair enough. Meet me back here if you find anything. Good, good, good. So, I should find the... Renotaurus. And go into the garden. And then the back door over there. Okay. Good here. So the the rhino ish skeleton should be somewhere. Is he not down there? Somewhere around here. Definitely. Oh, there's also this item. Lumos. Lumos. Hmm. What could that be? So many possibilities. So. Where was the rhino? Could be around somewhere here. There it is. 
There it oh. is. The rhinoceros skeleton. I'm on the right track. Wait, did it? Revelio. Uh huh. Look at that. The field guy on the window. Serpent beast window. But I was also on, on the on the drawing. Although Slytherin likes to think this window is something a tribute to their house founder, it's actually a serpent beast coiled around the tree that extends from the mouth of the legendary green man. Legendary green man. Okay. So it says. Some kind soul help me. Help you. With what? Are you all right? Don't you know who I am? Zenobia Noak. No, I the don't girl know who you are. everyone at school hates for no reason. You hate? Why does everyone hate you? Everyone hates you? Why? Because Hogwarts is full of bullies and spoil sports. Okay. Leander Pruitt's one of the worst, that no talent moon mind. I wanted to make some new friends, and okay. so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. Gobstone. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? No. Little balls, like marbles. Okay. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul smelling liquid. Oh. Well, that sounds, uh. Not so fun. Gobstones. Sounds like a fun challenge. That's what I tried to tell everyone. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, <laughs> it's their own fault for losing. I get you. I mean, they, they knew what it came from. Worst losers. Ever written a story or a terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. Is that so? I would have done the same, probably. Sounds as if you caused a smelly situation and they responded accordingly. I didn't make the rules. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't um, think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year to help me. Here, here. Any ideas how to reach them? Do you have any suggestions on how to get your gobstones down from their hiding spots? If I knew that, I'd get them myself. Whoever mm -hmm. hid my gobstones that high got up there somehow. With a broom? Can't make any I'll promises. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. <laughs> oh, poor girl. Poor, poor girl. So this should lead out into the garden, right? So... Exactly, let's run into the garden and then the door back there. Should be. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. There's one. Oh, well, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. There's the fountain. I'm getting closer. Exactly. So, the fountain that painting. The Dalian keys are back. Aren't they brilliant? The Dalian keys? But not all the side quests are happening at once. Is everything all right? Yes. I'm sorry. I'm just. <sighs> I'm Nelly, by the way. Hello, I'm Nelly. just so excited that the Dedalian keys are back. The what keys? The Dedalian keys. Surely you've seen them flying about. No. Rumor is that a former headmistress, Professor Mol, conjured them to protect the contents of certain locked cabinets years okay. ago. Professor Black couldn't be bothered to disenchant the keys, and they appear every few years. Is that so? You should try to catch one. Fair enough. Why would I do that? Each key will lead you to a locked cabinet somewhere in the castle. Oh, if you can manage to get the key into the cabinet lock, not an easy task. You then, may find a reward. Here, here. Okay, I'll look Perhaps into. I'll give it a go. I hope you do. I'll give it a go. Let's in see. In fact, I think I heard one of the keys in the astronomy tower. You should listen for them. Listen for them? They make a sound? I hope you follow a few keys at least. If you manage to open a cabinet, I'd love to know what you find. If anything. Okay. I'll, I'll let you know. But first, uh, treasure map. Treasure map. So, the last picture was some sort of a picture with a frame. Hello? 
Oh, what's some house the stairwell on it? looks promising. Okay. We heard the girl. Stairwell looks promising. Thanks to a lady statue and a pot. Last week, is that I performed a new reversal on the second day. Ooh, this loader. looks like the portrait from the map. Now, where's the treasure? Oh, yeah, it looks like the portrait from the map. And what are you? Let me answer. Revelia. Okay, there's also one of those thingies. So, um. It had that hand symbol. Do you mean Akio? Aha! Uh -huh. There was a doorway hidden within the portrait. That is so magical! I love it! How oh, that whole picture came closer until you reached the door? I wonder what came of Arthur's search. Oh, that is so cool. I don't know what to, what to do with you. We want to use you to jump up here and then jump up here. Yeah. Hmm. Probably, probably have to be used with something or for something. I wonder, uh, oh, it was the, the lock that I saw. Okay, never mind. But since we're here, what do we have here? What is this? Oh my, the bell tower. Revelia. Are these frogs? These are fucking frogs. Aha. Uh -huh. Over here. Keepers are slimy yet symphonic frogs that compromise that comprise the F Hogwarts Frog Core. These magical amphibians can sing in six parts harmony and hold a pitch better than most humans. What? Let's go. Okay, okay. That's lovely. That's lovely. Ah, we're gonna explore more when we have uh, uh, a spell to unlock. Oh, look at that. Revelio. When we have the spell to unlock the, um, the locked doors. Don't know what to do with that thing. Do I actually? Over here. Revelia. Is there something here? No. Okay. I thought a boy was trying to be nice. I'll take it. What do we have here? Is that Merlin? It looks like Merlin. Merlin. Revelia. <laughs> Extra of magic windows. These set stained glass windows feature Merlin, the four Hogwarts founders, and various other witches and wizards of the ages. Merlin. Then we have Gryffindor, Slytherin, Ravenclaw, and Hufflepuff. And then we have over here, I think, King Arthur. Going on. Interesting. Revelio. Uh huh. I cannot go behind that because it's locked. Damn it. Damn it. It's also locked over there. So. Why 
Why is there a treasure? Oh, it must be low because the arrow is pointing downwards. So let's catch that uh, little flying thing. So I think that unlocks the side quest everywhere. If we do it. Nope. Wrong direction. <laughs> Getting haunted by his wife. Poor man. So, let's go this direction. Then move up. No. Okay, I'm uh, losing my spot here at the moment. Uh, this here. So, change map. Can I disable all the waypoints that I'm looking for? Uh, Hawksmeet map. There we go. Oops. So, Bell Tower, Astronomy Tower, Astronomy Wing, Charms Classroom. Can I mark it? Let's go to the Astronomy Tower. There we go. Heard you're defending Hogsmeade against. I did, I did. That was me. That was brave old me. Brave. There we go. Okay, this is where the staircases lead to further on. Not straight ahead. Revelia. Hello there. No weeds. Beautification potion. I shan't tell. Certainly suits you. Talking mirror, okay. Well, hello there. Oh, another chest back here. Level one. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> I see a moth over here. Is this from against dark arts. It's Mr. Fig's office. We have to actually go. Um, Lumos. Let's finish with you. And we go. And over there. There we go. Definitely worth it. Was definitely worth it. Pretty strong for this uh, early on, I think. Not sure what max level is, but uh, having a level 11 already is, I think, a good good thing to have. So, astronomy tower. Even further up? Revelia. Even further up, it looks like. To the astronomy tower. That's Levioso, you. Thank you. Pavelio. And upstairs we go. Wow. Wow. This looks intriguing. Nothing over here. What do we have on this side? There's some trolls smacking down a wizard. Rebellion. What are you having, Tutuza? What? 
tapestry of Barnabas the Barmy. This tapestry depicts a wizard Barnabas the Barmy's foolish attempt to train trolls for the ballet. One can only imagine the impact on the art. Ard's head, he succeeded. Oh, good. Oh, goodness gracious. Hello there. Is that Headless Nick? I don't know. Revelio. Who, who is that ghost with the chain on him? Maybe you know. Let me know in the comments down below. Who we got over here? Okay. Oh, fast travel unlocked. And a little note. My dear Sat Yavati, you'll be pleased to hear that I received from my contact at Cambridge who condensed that they had in fact been incorrect in their understanding of meteor showers. It seems that an Irish astronomer and a British astronomer, both built upon a work done by an Italian astronomer, all muggles, mind you, as far as I know, to propose calculation on the position of the dust at Earth's orbits as means of connecting meteors to comets. Brilliant, really. One can only imagine that they might do with an enchanted telescope. Ah, <sighs> frustratingly, it may correspondence. I did feel that I had to continue using pseudonyms from my days as a gentleman scholar, whilst I'll find it rather exciting to have a secret identity, the reason irks me. I am so looking forward to our trip later this year to Yantar Montar. What an adventure we shall have. I miss you, dear sister, and I do hope you are well. My uh, with love, Suhrita. Wow. Revelia. I would gasp in interest only for the sake of how the classroom looks. So. A Dedalian key. There is the Wonder Dedalian where it key. might lead me. Yay, we found the first the the the, the, the key. Leads me to this cabinet. Okay, unlock it. There's the cabinet. How do I get this I just, key? I have in to there? slap it? Okay. Brilliant! I have to slap the key when it's in the middle. An old coin. Perhaps Nelly knows what it means. Wait a bit. With the house token coins, I can uh, open that chest inside of. Uh... Yeah, we can open that chest inside of uh... inside of our dormitory. I guess for that we have to open all the boxes. I wonder if uh, it's worth doing, sir. Revelio. I see a chest over there, and also. Lumos. Little something over here. Okay. Leaves you a son of a son of a gun. Okay. Up we go. Hello there. Wow. Revelio. Can we look through? No. Hello, Owl. Lumos. I'm just gonna keep Lumos up because I think I'll find the moth here somewhere. Wow. Revelio. Hello there. People flying by with brooms and whatnot. Ooh, the big scope. Astronomy telescope. This telescope is the finest stargazing instrument of its kind, perfect for viewing the moon and the stars and anything else one might see in the night sky. Fair point, fair point. Revelio. Anything else in here? Lumos. Let's bring that moth back to its former place. Yeah. 
down the staircase we go. Over here. Beautiful. I shall take that. So, well, what Professor Fig has to say for us and what he found out more about that mysterious key that we have discovered and nearly costed us our life being eaten by the dragon? The wizards, we shall find out in next episode. Thank you Kai for tuning in and watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, and let me know in the comments down below what you think and if you have any topic of discussion. Until next time, bye-bye. Go. Guardian.